So, what is your gripe? My gripe is an oil change disaster. Alright, I wanted to tell you what happened to me a couple months ago because it really got me frustrated. I, normally I do oil changes on my own car and I love doing that, but I've moved and I couldn't do that. Uh, I didn't have the setup anymore. And I was preparing for a ski trip. It was Sunday afternoon and I was checking my car over so I could make sure I'd be ready for the road trip. And I realized the oil was low and it needed to be changed. It was way overdue. So I looked up in the, in the local uh, uh, service centers in town and I found one that was open on Sunday. So I was like, awesome. They had time for me. So I went over to get an oil change at this place and man, it was a disaster. I showed up. I waited for an hour. They did the oil change, which I was happy for, but now it's Sunday afternoon. They're just getting ready to close. So I drive home. I start to pack up my car and get ready for the trip. And I think to myself, huh, I normally check how the oil change went, check the oil plug and the oil filter to make sure it's all good when I do it myself. So I got underneath the car to check it out, and the damn thing was leaking. The plug and the oil filter, water, oil was leaking out everywhere. I tried to tighten it up wasn't working. I didn't have the right oil filter wrench. So I went over to the local auto store that was open. Couldn't find a wrench. So all I could do is buy extra oil because I was going on this road trip no matter what. So I went to bed. I really didn't sleep well that night. I got up for my trip Monday morning, bright and early, put a little extra oil in the car and I went off on the road trip. The trip went awesome. I kept putting extra oil in along the way because I knew it was leaking constantly. Then when I got home from the trip, I called up this uh, oil shop that did the oil change in town. And I told them, look, I'm not so happy with this service. You know, I paid for premium oil, full synthetic, and it's leaking all over the place. That's uh, a lot more expensive than regular oil. Oh, yeah. It was a $100 oil change. Couldn't believe it. And he said, oh, yeah, it's the best. It's premium. And, you know, when I called him and told him I had to... Uh, the problem with the leak, he didn't seem to mind. He was like, yeah, whatever, bring it in. It really didn't faze him at all. Was there an apology? Or... No, he wasn't even sorry. He just was like, all right, I'll make time. We'll, we'll fix it. But he, he didn't, seem to, didn't seem to bother him at all. And, and one thing to add to that, when I went in to bring it back on that Tuesday after the, the trip, I brought it in and I told him, look, it's leaking in both places and the oil is all over the underside of the car. You've got to clean it up. And then I even told him, you know the little, little sticker they put on the windshield to tell you when your oil changes do? It only had 3,000 miles for the next oil change. And I said, look, I pay for full synthetic. How can Usually you put... Usually you can go a lot more... Yeah, it should be like 6,000. Or 10,000 even, right? Yeah, 6 or 10. Yeah. And he said, oh, I'll give you a new sticker. And I even asked him, I said, well, how do I know I really got full synthetic? He goes, oh, we paid for, we, we put in full synthetic. You can trust me. But I was kind of suspect. How much of it do you think actually leaked out on the trip? Oh, uh, at least a quart and a half. Wow. A lot of oil was coming out. The whole underside of the car needed to be cleaned. So they did a good job cleaning that up when I brought it in the second time. I waited for an hour for them to clean it up. Uh, I even gave him some advice because I've done many oil changes myself on to let the car warm up, to seat the oil plug a little bit because there's a little uh, washer there. You said the second time? This is the second visit okay. when they were trying to fix that leak. Oh, right. So then uh, I waited there for an hour for them to clean it all off, tighten everything up, stop the leak. I'm like, all right, thanks. You know, he gave me a new sticker. Now it says 6,000 miles. I'm not sure if I got full synthetic or not, but that's what the sticker says. So I go home and I say, you know what? I better check because I don't really trust these guys. So I get on underneath the car and I look and the damn thing is still leaking. The oil filter still has some leaks coming off of it. I'm well, like, well, why do you think that is? Well, I don't think they clean the, the, the uh, seat on the engine properly. So when they put the oil filter on, there was some dirt and grime in there, and it wasn't seating. It wasn't sealed up tight enough. How do you know about that kind of stuff? Well, when I did it myself, there's dirt always in that area, and if you put it on too quickly or sloppily, you could get some grime that gets between the rubber seal and the seat on the engine, and it just doesn't seat up properly. So you would say that's common knowledge with... Any, anybody change. who does an oil change should be able to get the filter on. I mean, you put it on snug tight, and then you go three quarters of a turn more, and that's perfect, and it never leaks. 
but for them, they couldn't get it to stop leaking. Why do you think? I, I, I don't. I think the guys working there. It's a Sunday. The place is the only place open on Sunday, so they probably don't have the best people working in the shop. Unfortunately, best meaning knowledgeable. The skill, yeah. They, their skill is maybe not good enough, even for an oil change. So to make it worse, it was leaking. And then when I went to check my oil level, they overfilled the oil at least an inch above the full line. So you should never overfill the oil that much because it's Why bad. Is that? It's bad for the engine. There's too much oil and not enough room for the oil to move around to do its job. So I went back, I called them, and I said, look, it's still leaking. It's still got a problem. you got to fix this. And I was really frustrated. So I go in and I tell them, look, it's overfilled, unacceptable, and it's still leaking. You've got to fix this problem. I waited another hour for them to go through, take the plug out, drain some oil, get it all tight, warm it up, get everything to stop leak, clean off the oil that was still messy in some areas. And then finally it's done and I could take it home. And that was three trips, three hours later, $100 in full synthetic oil, which I don't know if I ever really got, and, and then the oil change was done and completed. It would have been a lot better if I just figured out a way to do it myself and not bother going to one of these shops because it was just frustrating. I don't believe I got what I paid for, and I don't know if I'm ever going back. So that's what the story is I wanted to share with you because it really frustrated me. I no, don't normally get frustrated about things like this, but when I know I could do it myself better, easier, cheaper, and I take it to a professional who messes it up, that just frustrates me. So what could they have done to change the overall experience or to make it better? For me, they really could have been more interested in making sure me as a customer, as a person, I was happy. I was really struggling. It was like they didn't believe me. Like I was complaining over something that wasn't real. To go back three times for an oil change with leaks and overfill. They didn't show any compassion. They didn't even so offer how, a discount. How could they make that better? What do you think they can do to solve that? Issue? I think they need to really care about their customers. That's the fundamental issue. They didn't care about me. They were just running a business. 